Oh, I can't let the Discord know that. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Sailor Moon Base Market number seven. That is six plus one. We are back here again with some more Sailor Moon S. Right now, we have up on deck our first game of the night. We have Pharaoh versus Malachite. He has decided to call himself that, changing his name after one <laughs> tournament, which I think should be against the rules. But let's get this show on the road. Alongside me is Mr. K, our uh, resident champion and tiara holder. I'm okay. He's all right. And uh, So, yeah, we're going to have... Jupiter versus Mercury. It's going to be cool. I'm uh, looking forward to this. I haven't seen Pharaoh play in a minute. He's uh, been kind of in and out of uh, in and out of our games recently. But he seems to be showing quite a strong improvement. He's uh, doing a lot fewer of those coconuts, especially against a Mercury who can just kind of walk through them at will. He's in the corner now, though. So <laughs> oh, uh, nice, nice yeah, time. yeah. There, there is that. All right. Let's see if you can get out of the corner. He's still in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> he gets since he's still stuck in the corner. All right, get out of the corner, please. No, that's fine. He's fine. Very good punish on landing. Oh, definitely was an attempted throw there. He keeps on getting um, the the command or the fireball because he's trying to do SPD. Mm, gotcha. Ooh, jump very like smart jump in to beat that fireball. Yeah, Malachi is not scared to jump if he thinks you're gonna hit something. Uh, I've played him several times. I know this for a fact. He's not afraid to jump. Ooh, don't jump into the fireball, though. Giant lightning pillar, stay away from that. Interesting. Nice oh, just throw him? Yeah. Just throw him. Did they do rock, paper, scissors for the second player side, by the way? I didn't notice. I, I did not see personally. I don't, I don't think know they, that did. they did. I hope, oh, I hope my Pharaoh goodness. Knows. I need to I need to teach Malachi to start using uh, some different buttons on, on <laughs> jumping. There's nothing wrong with light kick necessarily, but for where he's using it, I think mm -hmm. he'd be... Oh, very nice back dash to avoid the corner throw. Ugh, Woo. bad jump. Let's go, Pharaoh. Oh, that could be it. Oh, oh. yeah, it just got chipped <laughs> out. <laughs> and the fireball passes harmlessly through Jupiter. Yeah, that, uh, that happens. All right. Very good hitting him out of the air. Spoink special, but mm -hmm. just like gotcha. Spoink do, it works out for him anyway. <laughs> Sparrow's really using the uh, the fireball to get out of the pressure. He is doing a pretty good job of it. He's Ooh. using it for... Oh, unfortunate. I'd like to see him some guard cancel on the jump-ins for the grab. Oh, for sure. It's it's super reliable. Yeah, It guaranteed. is more or less a true anti-air. Oh, no. I think he was trying to super. Oh, this no is chip. real bad. Oh, yeah. that's bad. I'm pretty sure he was going for the super there, but it does not yeah, go through fireballs. Yeah, you, fire uh, balls, so you rarely, yeah, you, and you rarely see Crouch hard punch it on purpose. Mm -hmm. It's an anti-air. It's just really yeah. slow. All right. Jupiter's like, what if we game. make all of your okay. moves anti-airs? Just so all your normals. It's like Goro Daimon <laughs> from that game that no one plays. What if we made your sweep instead of being a poke? It was an anti-air. Yeah. It's a good, good move. Wow, just starting off really aggressive with the jump in. He's already in the corner. It just yeah, and he's already in the in. corner. Oh, oh no. punish. Oh, he was probably anticipating having to block it and went for what he thought would have been a guard cancel. Yeah, the hard part about using the fireball of Jupiter is you can just crouch in area with most characters. So. Yeah. All right, fireball work. Oh, no, he doesn't know how he to is, get out of it. He is just controlling this space in the corner so well, but a really well-placed coconut mm -hmm. gets him. Yeah, so the, the biggest difference here between when um, Pharaoh gets a hit versus when Malachi gets a hit is that when Pharaoh gets a hit, he stays in the corner. So it doesn't <laughs> matter. Yeah. Really. There we go. There we go. We were waiting on one of those. Set up. He's got these down pretty like consistently. You know, he's, he might not get them all the time, but he's, he's getting the, the chip, free chip damage pretty well. Mm -hmm. It is a powerful setup, even mm -hmm. if you only get chip. The roundhouse spin. Yeah, roundhouse a little long in the recovery. I like the Ooh, idea of definitely. dodging the fireball, but he got punished for it anyway. I like how Malachi is spacing himself farther out, because this is where Mercury is the strongest. Not really right up in your face, just like right here. He is a uh, very... He, so, I'll tell you That's the secret. It. He's really scared of guard cancels. <laughs> He should be. Yeah, that's, that's terrifying. That is uh that is why he stays the distance away from wake mm -hmm. up that he does is he is just deathly afraid of guard cancels. Mm -hmm. And do you know how I instilled that fear into him? God guard canceling him a lot. Uh 
Specifically, guard canceling him with Neptune. <laughs> Specifically, <laughs> teaching him how to play the game with Neptune. But what if I could do my guard cancel uppercut right out of block stun? Just like right out of block frames. stun, exactly. I mean, so that won't punish like jabs or anything, will it? I, uh, it does. It does. It does. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. So yeah, I I taught him. You taught him to too fear well. guard cancels. And, you taught him too well. Yeah, and. So he knows, stand right outside of the range of those good guard cancels and just toss that windmill, mm -hmm. and that'll do the trick. All right, I am up next. Joining me is Kalen right behind me. We will see me on stream. Am I on stream? I'm on stream. All right. Sweet. Have fun. So it's going to be Damon, who I think is playing... Uh, is he entering tournaments as Damon? He's entering tournaments as Damon, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's going to be Damon versus Oxy, I think. And we got Damon versus Ben 2. Oh, Ben 2. Ben plays Venus, I think? I believe so, yes. Okay. So, Kalen, how are you feeling about this uh, tournament? Huh? You going to win? Am I going to win? I don't know. We will see. Okay. Uh, the answer to that is always yes. You, you yeah. have to say yes. If someone asks you if you're going yourself. to win the tournament, you have to say yes. To believe in yourself if you, if you want to make it. This is the answer. Okay. So, we got Ben 2, mm -hmm. Damon. And they're going into it. We need to... Put the game on. Okay, it's on there. Good. Yeah. Okay. Answer. <laughs> Aqua Mirage. Ooh. All right. This is exactly where Venus does not want to be. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Damon's creating some space with Mercury, though. That was probably a bad idea. Oh, and nice allowed throw. Venus to get that wake-up throw. She's got really good range on her throw. Mm -hmm. And when you're facing to the right, you have a little bit more uh, throw range. So... Yeah. Seems to be a nice seems to be a matchup of who can get who in the to the corner here. Oh yeah, these are two really impressive characters in the corner. Which jumps over the fireball. I can't believe that works. That didn't oh. work. Oh, Damon almost had the advantage there. Lost it because of that DP fireball or the flash kick fireball. Okay. Let's see what Damon can do here. Okay, wake up throw. A. Oh. He's player two side. So this oh. Is, oh. Oh no. Get out of there. Yeah. And Ben, too, making very good use of those flash kick fireballs. Game one to Ben, too. All right. Looks like sticking with the characters that were playing previously. Okay. No character swaps. Ben, too, took the first round. He'll need to win this one to win the set. I feel like Venus is kind of a really like hardcore rushdown character, but mm -hmm. her her whip is also a really good mid range button. So yeah, she's pretty good anywhere that's not in the corner. Right. Uh, well, like out here, I think Mercury definitely would have an advantage until mm -hmm. you get knocked down, and then everything just goes down downhill from there. Right. Uh, On the Mercury. Throw. Something I've noticed with a lot of the Mercury players, they really like to hit buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, they really like to jump around a lot, uh, gets them into trouble, uh, especially against somebody like Venus. Right. Well, they like to stay back and throw fireballs, and then if you lose space, oh, nice, he got out of there. Oh. Oh. Whoop. What? Yep, what a good DP. That was a great DP. It took, it traded, but didn't matter. Damon reeling back in his chair. Uh, this match point Could here. Be. Could quite be. But I, I don't believe Damon's done just yet. Oh. Whoa! Whoa, tornado pressure in the corner. Wow. Okay, anti air fireball. Guard Ooh. cancel into the Aqua Mirage. Damon took that very handedly. Took Venus for a spin. Mm hmm. Okay. Now back around start. Two charge characters looking at each other. Right. Oh, wow, that was a good jump. All right, listen, Beam. Oh, man. Oh, good jump, good jump. First big hit. All oh, right. wow. Vortex? Man. Mercury's low hitbox. 
Hey. Looking good oh, for Damon. Yep, very good for Damon. That was a good guard cancel. You can't jump higher than Tornado. It will find you. Mm -hmm. All right, so one, Damon one. takes. Now this is a set. All right, now 1-1. One, one. Let's see who can win this round. And this is still winners, so whoever gets knocked down here is still in the tournament. Right. They will still have another chance. Mm -hmm. I like how Damon's being a little more aggressive this game. Right. That's what you need to do. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's... Cross up jump jab. Hey. All right. It's a big big part uh, against playing against Venus is being able to predict those flash kick fireballs and jumping over them before they do them. I just leave them alone because <laughs> I don't want to jump into them. You hit buttons with them, you just trade. It feels yeah. bad. Like that. Yeah. Trading. Oh. All right. Uh, oh, oh, that's wow. a big throw. That's a big throw. All right, listen, Beam. That was a good guard, guard cancel. cancel. Fireball. Yeah, it won't punish the jump in, but it'll definitely make them block on landing. Mm -hmm. And if they're not blocking, they'll get hit. Ah, uh, okay. Damon on match point now. Oof. Yeah, Damon is running back here. He's uh had to get into a groove maybe. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Jump light Ooh, punch. And their uh, fireball though. Oh, no jumping on that. You yeah. can't jump on tornadoes. Uh, Have you seen two might be seen. Uh, might be seen the end here. Oh, guard cancel fireball. That puts him down. And Damon has taken it. After losing the first game, Damon takes the set. Yep. Two to one. So we're both going to be hopping, hopping off here and playing, apparently. Mm-hmm. So. All right. Waiting for Damon to come back. Mm -hmm. The stream master himself. The stream master of 9,000. See, this time I remember to put Damon in the bracket. Right. Okay. So I think um. we're both handing off right now. So we'll peace out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Kind of got out of there by the skin of my teeth, but I am... I don't know, I'm pretty happy with my performance, all things said and done. Joining me on the mic here is Rasmafoof, one of our uh, resident yeah. Pluto players. Up next, we are going to have a very nice match. We have got Will R coming up on stage right now, and who is he playing? He's playing Mr. K. He's playing Mr. K. Oh, it's going to be a so very nice gonna one. So going to be a mirror match. We're going to have a Uranus mirror match. We have the consistent winner versus one the of X the uh, One of the dark horses, anytime he shows up, it feels like. I would agree. Yeah. I would definitely agree. All right. And speaking of, we have got these two coming up to stage right now. Mm -hmm. <coughs> wonder if they're going to RPS for our sides here. It doesn't look like they are, but... All right. So we got Mr. K on player one side. Yep. If this is sticking, and Will R. <laughs> In stereo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm really glad with how our audio setup is turning out. I am too. All right, so remember we have in the gray skirt Mr. K, in the blue we have Will. Yeah. Which is already off to a very strong start. Mr. But K Mr. using Mr. K that doing what Mr. Dash. K do. And that's an infinite. All right, is he going to drop this? He's not. Looks like he's not. Click that twitch. <laughs> Round to round two. Very nice start for Will again. Not doing a whole lot to push his advantage after that. No, but... Mr. K, on the other hand, very quick to take advantage of the block stun from Earthshaker. Case in point. Very good meaty sweep. It is very hard to... uh. Interesting forward dash after the sweep. You don't typically see that. It's typically something you see uh, you see it in a back dash. Yeah. Anyway, very fast game to Mr. K up one. So one thing I saw Will just try to do is he blocked the fireball and tried to back dash or guard cancel back dash. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. No. Uranus no. will catch that. Yeah. Which I'm kind of surprised he didn't know that, but it might not have been something he's labbed yet. 
Mr. K just a bit too short of that SPD. Catching well in the landing frames after that neutral jump. And that's and an infinite. We have a hard kick start for the infinite. And he's going to close out his first round in game two with another infinite. Mm -hmm. Will just spent got a lot of time in the air for some reason. Yeah. I'm not sure why. He almost got anti-aired there, too. <laughs> Which would have been very bad, because Uranus gets a scary left-right off an anti-air. Mr. K doing quite a few reads to try to read on what I'm guessing is a dash-in SPD. He's done a number of neutral jumps after Earthshaker. Oh, yep. It doesn't yep. matter if you hit him. He is churning He that puts SPD. it in on hit and on block. So Mr. K taking that rather quickly in a 2-0. I don't know who we're going to end up with next. Look, I'll, I'll tell you something. Don't <laughs> leave uh, don't leave Mr. K with a one-frame gap. No. Just don't do it. Don't do it in any game <laughs> for that for that uh, for that matter. Just don't do it because he will take advantage of it. He will see a one-frame frame trap and go just like, mm, I could have uppercutted that. Yeah. It's a man will push buttons on anything. He is he is a, uh, a force to be reckoned with, I will tell you that much. Thank you all for joining us here at Sailor Moon Base Market here in St. Louis, Missouri. Your home for Sailor Moon S for the Super Famicom in the St. Louis area. Rasmafoof, tell us a little bit about the venue here. So we are at, uh, <coughs> sorry about that. We're on 9th Street across the street from a uh, bar called Molly's in Soulard. We have... I believe it is a 300-person ballroom with a nice stage, which is what the players play on, elevated. We have nice big screen for everyone to watch. <coughs> Lots of room. About half the venue right now is fighting games with arcade cabinets off to the side, actually. And then we have a bunch of people playing what I believe is Magic the Gathering. It might be other card games right now. I believe it is mostly Magic. So we have a nice... mat or. Uh, Mix match of communities mm -hmm. showing up at the venue, which I wish we had a camera to show off the venue. That's something we should look <laughs> at, actually. Yeah, we need to look into that. Oh, I would like I would like to show off this venue. We'll uh, we maybe we'll get some pictures up mm -hmm. somewhere. Uh, anyway, uh, Moonbase Market in lovely Soulard in St. Louis, Missouri. We have got fighting games every Thursday, and we have our tournaments uh, at 7 p.m. All right, Eunice at 6:30, and. Sailor Moon starting at 7 p.m. every Thursday. And, okay. So, got Damon leaving me. Not sure if I'm having someone come up. It looks like I have Kaylin coming up, actually. So, just one moment. What do you mean? Because like, usually I'm able to do it and it sounds fine, but like this blows the level like, out the way to me. Uh, let me unmute you. I should wait a second. That's something we're going to have to talk to Damon about. I yeah. Think. We got everything. Yep. Okay. Need you to do that. Okay. So. Next one looks like we got Drunk Missile versus Damon. Yeah. Damon putting in a pretty good performance. Beat uh, uh, against Ben 2. Who was also playing Venus, I believe, at the time. So this is the second time Damon's playing this matchup, actually, right in a row. Mm -hmm. Two. I'm surprised there was no punish on that DP. Right. So Damon being very aggressive right now against Drunk Missile's Venus. Venus, very good for, uh, very good spacing there, very good controlling uh, the space at the moment. Very well-timed flash kick fireballs and gets that Mercury throw. into the corner. 
That throw does God. so much damage, too. Yeah. Ben, too, pretty good Venus, man, but Drunk drunk Missile's on another level. Mm -hmm. And uh, Damon's going to gonna have to figure this one out. Kind of punished the Fireball, but he was a bit too early on it. Mm -hmm. Not punished Fireball, DP. Whoa. Oof. Wow, Don't I, I don't even know how that happened. Those hitboxes just barely missed each other. Right. Wow. Yeah, Drunk Missile doing a very good job comboing those Flash Kick Fireballs uh, in, into that sweep combo. It's pretty cool. Right now, Damon actually having the upper hand, I think. Oh! oh. But that sweep range, man, yeah. it is. Hit him before the uh, Fireball connected. Nice, yep. So God. Drunk Missile taking the first game. Mm. Drunk Missile takes the first game. I know... From experience playing Drunk Muscle's Venus, man, his his sweeps and his low attacks, mm -hmm. very scary. Because uh, they just have so much range. Are they like a... Uh, I believe Moon Sweep doesn't have a hurt box? Oh, Would they be anything like that? I am not sure. All okay. I know is that they're a pain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and, uh, yeah, see? There, there it is. He'll do that, too. He'll walk up sweep. Wow, just barely missed the mm -hmm. fireball. Oh, wow, backdash into throw. Always a strong option. Here we go again. Okay, whoa, okay. Damon managed to get out of the corner. Catch the backdash. It's a very dangerous situation. Oh. Guard cancel into tornado, very nice. Mm -hmm. The win. Trick Muscle will start out the round with the chain, trying to, trying to play the spacing game. Oh, wow, and just like that, Damon into the, in corner. the corner. I think I think those two yeah. those two back dashes he did early in the round really hurt him. He managed to get out though, so yeah. that's nice, but but still got hit by the low there. Right. Yeah, Venus, be careful with those low kicks. Try your damnedest not to get into that corner. Okay, right now Damon's being a, being more aggressive. He's not moving back. He's just moving forward. That's exactly what he needs to be doing. Yeah, he needs to just get in and control space once right. he gets in. And he's... Oh, wow. Oh, that wow. was not a good fireball. Problem is, Venus is a character that I think is better at it than Mercury. Mm -hmm. Mercury's just a lot more oppressive oh. once she gets in. And this might be... Oh. Uh, desperation. If he had done that just a bit sooner, I think he would have hit. Maybe. Great effort by Damon. He did get one round, mm -hmm. uh, one one round off of Drunk Missile. Yep. Uh, I think that was a, an educational matchup as well because I was I was noticing that Damon was learning. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he definitely did better the uh, second game than the first game for sure. So. Learning is half the battle. That's what they say. Yep. Not quite sure who we'll have up next. Mm -hmm. so. so that was Drunk Missile in Damon. Oh, man. So. All right. So you're going to have to play Drunk Missile at some point. Yeah. And I'm going to have to play Damon, actually. All right. So let's go ahead and look at the bracket here real quick. All right, round three of winners. We've got Mr. K versus Dan Almighty. Mm -hmm. Dan Almighty putting in some work. Wow, I didn't even see this earlier. He beat Spoinkman uh, yeah, again. 2-0. 2-0, yet again. Man, that was that was an upset when it happened last week, yeah. but now it's becoming a pattern. Mm -hmm. Up next, very familiar matchup. Uh, myself, uh, Kalen, and Drunk Missile. Which I see Drunk Missile. Yep, calling All right, over. looks like it's going to be me and Drunk. Looks like I'll have Mr. K joining me. Okay. All right, so we're here. Yep. Okay, so up next we have... Drunk Missile versus Kalen mm -hmm. in winner's round three. So it looks like top four might be shaping up to be like it's been before. But Spoikman and Losers, that's a big deal. That
happened last week, I believe. Dan okay. Almighty putting him in there. Yeah. He needs to learn the Neptune matchup. <laughs> or play Uranus, I guess. I don't know. Either or. Yeah. So, okay, so it looks like we're finally getting into it. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have Drunk Missile on the left and Kalen on the right. Looks like he, Drunk Missile's playing Jupiter against mm -hmm. his Mars. He's been going more and more to Mars. He really likes the character. Mm -hmm. um, for quite a while, it was always uh, Venus that he mm -hmm. would pick. But yeah. he, um, he's been working really hard on his coconuts. You know, he found a deserted island and just found all the coconuts just started chucking them. <laughs> Ooh, knockdown. Mm -hmm. See how Kalen can do with this. Ooh, nice Ooh. throw. That was a good throw. Nice back dash. 100% of his damage is from throws right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a lot of damage, actually, too. Almost all the damage so far has been throws. Okay. Yeah, chuck it. All right. Okay. Tried to guard cancel fireball, I believe, but... Mm -hmm. Nice combo. Oh, he tried oh. to fireball. He tried to do coconut, which just made him lose his invincibility, yeah. and then he got hit. <laughs> he believed too much in coconuts. Should have been like a pineapple Oh, day. SPD. All right. Oh, he's just walking through wow. the, the pillars. <laughs> Kalen looking real ready. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried to... He, okay, he's feeling confident. He's going for the combos. He doesn't always do that. Ooh. Oh! I don't know what that hit. He must have guard canceled. Yeah, he must have guard canceled into something, but. Mm -hmm. Kalen up 1 0. Is he sticking with Jupiter? I didn't look. Yes, he is. Live and die by the Jupiter. Sad. Eh, life advantage isn't too horrible right now, but... Okay, good. He would have uh, fallen on the snake if he hadn't done that fireball. Jump line kick. And spins. Oh, nice anti-air. Oh, wake up throw! Oh, that was the super, yeah. You can see him crouching. When you see Kalen crouch down and then stand up and then crouch down again, that's the super. That's the secret. Knockdown. And uh, Kalen on match point. No strong throwing from him. Yeah. Let's see if this drunk missile can get back on course. Nice back dash. Ooh, Ooh nice uh, spin kick. Oh, oh, he almost got over it. He was so close to getting over it. Lots of birds, though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good anti-air. That was, that was a good range. Back dash. He actually canceled the end of his light kick, the back dash. It's real tense. Oh, 14 seconds left. We're going to probably be seeing a timeout. Let's, let's see if... um. Oh, wow. Good. Oh, that's a big deal. Now it's anyone's game. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. a big throw. Can he, can he just go? Oh, he no. tried to super. He tried to super. He started buffering. He didn't have time to do it. Oh, okay. Good showing my drunk missile. Showing he's not out yet. I want to see the full set. I want, I want this game. I want to watch it again. Full set. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Jump over the bird. Coconuts. There's a Monty Python in there. Joke in there somewhere. <laughs> Drunk Missile looks like he's in commanding lead, but you know, it's one super for Mars, oh. and it could be all over. Lots of back and forth. So yeah, if, if Mars um, predicts that Jupiter's going to try to throw a coconut, she throws the bird, which hits him out of the air. Nice combo. Kalen running oh. back. That's a big hit. That's a big deal. Oh, yeah. wow. Can you make the mix-up? Nice back dash. Oh. oh, and Kalen takes it in a good, good set. Kalen will advance, I believe, to winner's finals.
I believe it will be winners finals as well, yes. Yes, it will be. So were you, um... I, I thought Drunken Missile was going to take it very cleanly, but I was I wrong. thought so as well. That's been the norm mm -hmm. for a while. He put up a good showing, but it's just hard to deal with Mars zoning. Mm -hmm. And she's a very, very good character. <laughs> Honestly, I wish we had more Mars players in the U.S. Mm -hmm. She's a... Uh, She's underrepresented, and I don't think she's hard to play at a base level. It's just people... No, she isn't hard to play at a base level, I don't think, either. She requires a lot of dedication. You have to be very confident in your game plan, because mm -hmm. if you mess up one or two fireballs, that could be the difference between um, losing your zoning or not. Yeah. So, so Kaylin, how are you feeling? I'm feeling okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> good, good. So... Are you still in the tournament? Where yes, I am. Okay. All right. We need to see you, Mr. Rasmafoof. I, I want to see you get on stream and then do the super. Can I was you do that for I me? was originally supposed to be like the first match on stream, mm -hmm. but I was in the middle of an undernight bracket when okay. it started. So likely story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now we're going to have Mr. Spoink versus Spoinkman versus Pharaoh. Now these are two guys I've been watching, mm -hmm. and I, I want to see how this goes because either of them could be. Up and coming. Okay, jump jab. Jupiter in the corner. Alright, looks like uh, Kaylin's being stolen. So it's just gonna be me providing all the commentary, just perfectly. Oh, good cancel the fireball. So we got uh, Mercury push him to the corner though. Jupiter has been consistently just walking backward in all the sets we've been seeing so far. I'm glad we have a couple Jupiter players, though. There aren't there aren't a lot of them. Oh, that was a combo. Nice combo. Nice. Finish this, this plate. That's really good. You want to make sure you hit that combo when you end the round. Especially when a game with uh, Desperation Supers, Infinite Desperation Supers. Ooh, Back Dash Pillar. Just says, you can't chase this. A little sweep. Yeah, Mercury is getting a lot of um, a lot of utility out for fireballs. That's the worst thing that can happen is you block two of the pillars and then you backdash. It's because the the heavy one has four hits and the light one has three hits, so you think, oh, I can backdash here, but no, you can't. <laughs> Great throw by Pharaoh. That was the tip of the range. I walk forward. All right, good trade. So normally I would have been bad for Jupiter, but life life deficit, so. Mercury, though, she's at the right spot. She's at where she wants to be. So if she can make a comeback, here's where she wants to do it right now. Oh, but Pharaoh is just fighting back. He says, I'm going to keep on hitting buttons. I'm going to keep throwing fireballs. I, I don't care if I'm in the corner. What's the corner? It's just a safe place to live. You know, you can just lean back and you got um, back support. So we have uh, Pharaoh on the left and we have Spoink on the right. Sorry for not updating. Okay, coconuts. Oh, nice jump roundhouse from Swing. You punish the coconut. Uh, so it's zero zero right now. Okay. Like kick, like kick, like kick. It's a good plan. Solid plan. Oh, nice throw. I don't think that. I don't think that uh, Pharaoh even challenged him for the player one side. And Swing takes game one. Swing takes game one. Let's see what, uh... Let's see what Spoink can do, or what Pharaoh can do to adjust a little bit. He was doing really well in the early round. Mm -hmm. he, he was taking it very convincingly, but, um... Spoink just got him to the corner, and then just, that was about it. Right. And then real quick, uh... Looks like uh, Lamental in the chat said Mars is good against Jupiter. Uh, I would agree. As, okay. uh, I was, I was the Mars in that matchup. Mm -hmm. That night in there. So right now, Pharaoh is, wow, making really good use of those coconuts against Spoink Man. <laughs> what is going on here? Just electrify the whole, whole screen. Right. Wow. Oh, All spin right, spin over there? Spinning bird kick. He was trying to do super. I guarantee he was trying to do super. And he didn't get it twice. Mm. He's laughing about it, but really, he's sad inside. Uh, We're all sad for you, Spoink Man. It's okay. He's still, uh, he's still in the fight here. Mm -hmm. Alright. 
Siobhan spray? Oh. Mercury Crouch Slide is so good. Just, it, it does everything. Alright. And the, the just... Wow, it's just tornadoes. tornadoes! And he's just throwing them out there. He should just keep doing it. He, because Pharaoh wasn't doing anything. Pharaoh had, <laughs> had more life when this started. <laughs> now he's almost dead. Now it's a fireball war. Oh, oh you wow, can't do no. that! You nope. can't do that! I know uh, it's a super, and you're like, supers are big moves. Do the super. Well, they're called desperation moves, and he was certainly putting the desperation. Yeah, he definitely <laughs> put that desperation in the move. He's in the corner again! No! Oh, Pharaoh, God. get out of the oh. corner! Whoa! Swingman doing a great job keeping him in there, but standing yeah. light kicks. What is he gonna do? Alright, so we're gonna see about 30 more light kicks this round, so just, right. you know. Good tornado. Light kick. That's no, that's point special. Pharaoh gets another shot at life. Oh, wow. Walks into a fireball. I don't need this life. He's proving us wrong. She just crouched underneath the oh, fireball. Man. It's so cheap. Pharaoh, yeah, Pharaoh caught in the corner again. What can Pharaoh do about it? Oh, he tried oh, wow. to grab. Wow, he tried to swing special of his swing own. Swing takes it. To get out of the corner. Didn't work out. Nope. Use the swing special when you have him in the corner not to get out of the corner. <laughs> <laughs> then you actually need your wake-up tornado when you're trying to get out of the corner. Mm -hmm. So just play Mercury. That's that's the, uh, the actual goal here. All right. And then, Mr. K, I do believe you are next against... Dan Almighty. Okay. I will get out there. All right. Good luck, sir. Thank you. So while we're waiting for Mr. K and Dan Almighty to take the stage, I'm going to go ahead and talk just a bit about Moonbase Market. Moonbase Market is an event space here in St. Louis in Sular District. We do have events here every Thursday night, 7 p.m. We play Sailor Moon S for the Super Mamicon, do weekly tournaments. They're free. You can come in. You can learn. You can play. You can also find us on the STLFGC Discord, where you can come meet us, talk to us, as well as see where all the local events are, and even trade strategies, organize hookups, anything you want. You can also follow us on Twitter, at STLFGC. We post videos, we post anything related to any local events. So at the moment, Mr. K and Dan Almighty stepping up. All right. Boom. Joining me, Drunk Missile. Hello. Uh, Steve versus Dano. Steve, a.k.a. Mr. K. And Dan Almighty, a.k.a. Dan O. This is going to be round three winners. And we'll see. Uh, Steve finally gets to test out his anti-Neptune stuff. And I guess Steve's waiting for an okay, I suppose. Right now they're doing a button check, it looks like. Uh, it's a good button check. Yeah. Infinite check. Yep. Just got to make sure my infinite still works. Yeah, it, it clearly works from what I can see. All right, so Dan Almighty, what is going on with Dan O? Uh, I don't know, nothing. I mean, he's just playing like he always does, and people aren't used to how fighting him. Because uh, he's, boy. Yeah, I mean, he plays neutral very, very well. Right. Uh, a lot of newer players still want to try to do their stuff, and they're more focused on doing their stuff than playing the neutral. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, very... Dude, Spoink Man is getting there for sure, but, you know, it's just experience. Right. That's getting him in right now. Uh, anyway, Steve is commanding lead against Neptune. Right. All right. Whoa. Oh, Neptune getting some fireballs in, but guard cancel into forward dash. God. Uh, back, back dash. Well, he's out of the corner. 
And can't do that, Dan. Can't if you're going to do that, you got to jump in with the tip of your foot. Right. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if you're immediately like that, that's a definite guard cancel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those deep jump kicks. Oh, good wow. Good DP. That was Keeping good DP. space away, and that's right. the key. Keep Uranus away. Ooh. So Dano, I think, is trying to figure out some options here. Yeah, basically he's just trying to find out best, the best ways to keep um, mm -hmm. Uranus off of him. Ooh, oh, wow. Man. Back dash into the that, slot. That back dash is so long. Dano has the right idea <laughs> keeping it away. That's good stuff right there. It really is. Good way to fluster Steve, Mr. K. Oh, whoa. What? What is... What what is going on here, Mr. K? Yeah, that's he's he's gone a life that was said. Oh, oh, jumped right into SPD. I yeah, can, that was man. getting real. I don't know. And I've what I've done that. Dan I've, wanted to do there. Why would possibly he do that? throw? Because I've I've done the same thing. Where I've done yeah. an empty jump in, thinking I can get the throw, but I can't beat the SPD. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah. not gonna beat SPD, so I wouldn't want to try to get in right. that space. Right. But I guess it is scary too. Uppercut against Uranus and have mm -hmm. that blocked in SPD from that. Gosh, yeah, I know. It's, it's such a scary matchup because Uranus can just do so much against everything you got. Yeah. And oh, here is the infant. From the infant. Oh, he dropped, he dropped it. it. Oh, and nope, didn't get the full sweep combo there. Looks like he didn't do his kegels today. Oh, but he did get that DP. Yep. And he's making some good use of that uh, sweep into fireball. Yeah, but Mr. he's back in the corner and that's not good. No, it's not. Hold on. Yeah, oh, he got out sides. of there. Sweep into Fireball, man. Yeah. Oh, whoa! Good catch. Ooh. Nice tip of the DP. No, that was a good place that to was. DP there. That was. That was a great, great place, place to, DP. to DP. Oh, my God. This yeah. is stressful. Yeah, he's keeping yeah. the space and good, he is. good use of the pokes. Oh. oh. Ate that jump in. Well, that was good uh, on Dan. You know, that's For sure. neutral. Like, Steve just made the better <laughs> decision in that situation. So he had a really close round. You see, Dan was playing a lot smarter than he was. Yeah. That's, that's a good thing. Now that he's coming out, and now we'll have a... Oh, good DP. Yeah. He could just sense Mr. K was doing something there. Yeah, Dano is a Neptune to be feared for sure. He's also just fighting the Uranus uh, to be going feared. To, yeah. Oh. This might be... Oh. This is going to be oh. tough. Oh, no. No, no. Ah, commentator curse <laughs> Mr. K. Oh, I don't know how it's, to feel about that. It seems like every time you say, yeah. oh, Leon, you know, this is going to do it, he ends up dropping the infinite. But Dan's giving him a good fight here, so I don't blame Steve for kind of getting giving it to nerves, though. But he got through there. All right, that was 2-0, Mr. K. Mr. K, yes. Woo! Yeah. That was the fight. Mm-hmm. Certainly was. I can just mark progress? Wait, wait. Oh, this. All right. Woo! Yeah. That leaves myself, uh, Kalen, and Mr. K in uh, the next round of winners. Uh, we got some losers progressing. Run through, yes, mm -hmm. right now. It's like Malachite and Dan Almighty. Oh man, those two, man, they were they were going at it in casuals. Yeah, they really were. And uh, it looks like um, whoever wins that, well, they're playing off stream right now. Right. Uh, I suppose the. Best idea would be to get me. Right. Drunk Missile Spoink and Spike Man are up next. Uh, let me see if they are still playing under night from where I can see. It looks like they're playing under night. So, so we may have a little bit of a delay uh, until mm -hmm. uh, that is done. But once. Right. As you can see, looks like. Are you, did you say Malachite and Rasmufoof are. Are currently fighting right are now. Are currently fighting off stream. Yes. Whoever wins that matchup. We'll face Dan Almighty in losers round three. Yep. Uh, now it looks like Spoinkman beat Will. Yeah, Spoinkman who was able to beat Will, and now he's going to fight me in uh, losers Ooh. round three as well. Oh man. Um, I would say prediction: uh, Dan Almighty takes losers round three. Uh, you would. My my personal prediction: I think going to take it against Spoinkman. Then we're going to see Dano versus. Drunk Missile again. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and prep for that match, and I'll see mm -hmm. where they're at. And in the meantime, I will have uh, Mr. K take my place here. All right, sounds good. So right now, waiting for the next match on stream. And 
Joining me again in the commentator booth is Mr. K. What's up? So, Mr. K. I dropped that infant. I'm mad about it. <sighs> oh, we were, about it. we were talking about that on stream. I'm mad about it. Um, I you... wasn't dropping it before today. <laughs> I hadn't dropped it before. Right. Okay. It was at the end, though. But yeah, like. we called it the commentator curse because every time <laughs> you did it, we were like, "Oh yeah, this is this is going to be a, this is going to be the round right here." Yeah. And then as soon as we said that, <laughs> you would drop it. I'm like, "Oh no!" There are some hits that's hard to pick it up on. Mm -hmm. Like if you get like a random jab, and you're like, "I got to hit fierce here," and then you're you're late. But I don't feel bad about that. But it's just like, yeah, <laughs> I wanted that <laughs> one real bad. I didn't get it. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Okay. So. So playing playing against Nano Mighty, like what what are your thoughts? I I was scrambling a lot. I was not mm -hmm. playing the way I wanted to. Um, he seems to have that effect on people. <laughs> I I yeah, it's I he was not doing the things I wanted him to do. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to throw fireballs so I could guard cancel it and then dash forward and command grab him because I I know I can do that. I tested it, you know. Right. Someone actually lapped it for me on the Sailor Moon Discord. I was like, I can I can deal with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. It's hard to play against your, uh, Neptune because she just has such a big threat of the um, the guard cancel uppercut. Right. Yep. Um, even when I was like doing Oki, if you notice, I just blocked. Like when I did the yeah. meaty fireball and I dash four, I was like, mm -hmm. I'll just block, and maybe he does uppercut and I kill him. Right. right. That that was my entire plan. Mm -hmm. But he didn't uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he wasn't uppercutting much. Uh, that was it. You That's you know what he's he... played me before, <laughs> and he knows that he'll die. Ah, uh, that makes sense. So. Something I did notice he was doing a lot was he was he was doing a lot of sweep in a fireball and it was working. I just didn't want to block low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Because I think at one point he did that uh, about three times. three times in a yeah. row. Yeah. And why not? Mm -hmm. um, Tournament's still going. Tournament is still going, missing person. And up next, we're going to have Drunk Missile over Swankman, I believe. Yep. Drunk Missile versus Spunk Man. So the issue right now is that we have one person who is um, playing in another tournament, and then the other the other two people are already playing off stream. Uh, so okay. I think, oh, Dan Almighty and Malachi. We could actually put that one on stream. Let me see yeah. if I can get that on there. Sorry about the wait, guys. Yep. No problem. I'll be right back. I just want to make sure we're going. Sure. Let's go ahead. Let me talk about the bracket again. Next up, we got Dan Almighty, which, as we've discussed, has a pretty interesting Neptune that's been taking taking people for a ride. Up against Malachite, Malachite, one of the newer players around here, has a really good Mercury. Mm -hmm. So he's been putting some good work. I like it. And this is going to be a fun matchup because I've been watching th these two were playing a, a lot against each other mm -hmm. during casuals, mm -hmm. and I will say during casuals. Uh, Malachite was was struggling against Dano's neutral game. Uh, Malachite is new to fighting games in general, right? So playing against someone like Dan Almighty, who's a long been time playing though. fighting games since they've been around, basically. <laughs> you probably played ST tough. in the arcades when when those existed. Yeah. So on the left we have Malachite. Yep, we have Malachite. That's gonna knock down. Get some energy. But uh, Mercury definitely has a stronger fireball game in this matchup, so Neptune's kind of forced to play forward, if that makes sense. She's got to get somewhere where her uppercut and her her mix-ups are powerful. All right. So even though uh, Malachi's down on live, I feel like this could be anyone's mm. game. It could be, especially since Malachi has the, mm -hmm. has the momentum right now. He's got that corner pressure. Oh, that was a good jump in. See, oh, how, see how close it is right this now? Is so close. You can't, uh, you can't do that. <laughs> Don't jab the fireballs. No. Nope. You can't punch them away. <laughs> Not in this game. I don't know what game you could. There's probably a game like that. Fireball Maybe he thought that he was Potemkin. He was going to flick it away. Is that a guard cancel? The... That was guard cancel backdash, yeah. All right. Keep some merging. Sweet fireball. Whoa. Combo. Okay, so one thing I noticed... Malachi during the casuals, he had a really tough time against overheads. Uh, overheads are cheap, man. Here they are. You can't block them low. <laughs> That's really cheap. Yeah, how come I can't just hold down back and be safe? Yeah. They're not even throws. Mm. Oh, oh wow, wow. that what was an interesting. Uppercut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll uppercut both ways. You, he might have been trying to. Did I'm I'm trying to. Did he input that before the cross? Uh, you totally can do that in this cro game. The crossover happened? Because yeah. if people do like um, Mercury cross up mix ups with you, you can just wake up backdash and it'll go whichever way the backdash right. should go. 
<laughs> so uh, I I did that once uh, using the Marge's heel kick against uh, mm -hmm. Moon's forward dash. Uh -huh. I put in the input and the timing worked out to where the the heel attack came uh, came out after he had crossed up. Nice sweep. Yeah, so the beef salami, it hits really high. Yeah, so see. if you go underneath it up close, you can get really, you can just make it whip. So a nice uppercut. Malachi very weak against overheads and anti airs. So you can't block those anti airs because you can't. Literally impossible. Sailor this Neptune doing well. Right. So I mean, credit to Malachi. He's picked up this game real quick. Oh yeah. And he's moving around with Mercury very well. I, he's just weak in mm -hmm. in the fighting game. Uh, and this is definitely an old man game. And right. This is what Dano. <laughs> Dano is strong in. He has right. like a special skill that gives him plus 50 mm -hmm. in all band games. Right. All right. Trading back and forth. Right. And uh, Mercury's. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Desperation jump doesn't work out. All right. And Dano takes it 2 0. Eliminates Malachi. Malachi is out of the game, but man. Good showing, though. For sure. He's been he's been giving good showings uh, ever since he started, and he has been improving. Mm -hmm. He beat Mar Rasmuth too. Yep. So good showing by Malachi. Mm -hmm. Dano Mighty moving on. Loses round four. Mm -hmm. So up next, we're probably going to get Drunk Missile versus Splunkman. I think we've been holding that one. Okay, no, uh, so Splunkman is still playing the same Undernight set that he was playing before. Mm. So uh, that game's too slow. They need to make that game faster. That's that's what we're finding out right now. Um, so, so in the meantime... Coming up, though. Coming up. All right, so we've got Drunk Missile versus Splunkman. Now, mm -hmm. historically, Drunk Missile t t tends to win against Splunkman, but Splunkman has won against Drunk Missile before. Mm -hmm. So and this is for the tournament life. So this is this is a more stressful matchup. This isn't the winners where everyone's like, oh, we're still friends even though I beat you, right? No, right. <laughs> no, when you knock someone out of losers, they're mad. Oh yeah, yeah. So I know all about that. And drunk missile. When I played him earlier, he was mm -hmm. playing Jupiter, mm -hmm. and he told me I've been practicing Jupiter every day for mm -hmm. the last week. I have no reason not to pick Jupiter. <laughs> so <laughs> it's going to be Jupiter. So it's probably we're probably going to see mm -hmm. Jupiter. It's the Makoto show. Spunkman, of course, we're going to see Mercury again. He can't portray the plushie, man. He's got the uh, the Amy plushie. You can't you can't break up with her like that. Right. Yeah, no, I've got a Mars plushie. It's, <laughs> that's a sacred bond. <laughs> you can't break it. I've only broken it once. It seems like they're coming to uh, throw us out of the commentary booth. Uh, so apparently we are both up next. Whoa, so okay, all right. Winner's final. It's going to be three out of five set. All right. And all right, they can hear us, and I'm on too. Yep. Oh, cool. Yeah, you can hear yourself a little bit. So. Dano on the mic. Yeah. Rasmafoof, and what sides are they sitting on? Okay. Uh, they paper rock scissors over it. I don't know, but Mr. K's down on player two side, so I'm going to assume that's sticking unless they get up. So this is going to be Uranus versus Mars. This was our grand finals last week, I think. And I'm pretty sure like two weeks after that, and <laughs> four weeks before then. Yeah. These two are among the three people who are always somewhere in grand finals. Yeah. 
Mr. K almost always on winner's side. I know Kaon wants to get this monkey off his back. I like Ken has beaten him, but it's been in, like Mr. K's like first two weeks. Mm -hmm. So uh, last week, what Mr. K started doing was he would block Kalen's super and then punish yeah. it. Yeah, he did that to. If I remember correctly, he did it in winners and losers. I was yeah. like, "Come on, Kalen, you know you can't get away with that." Well, it's one of those things like every other character, but, it's but, yeah, a safe option else, against. Yeah, yeah. But 90% of the cast, yeah, it's a pressure stream. I think probably only Uranus can punish it like that. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Because no one else has a forward dash. Except for Moon. I guess Pluto, if you're like stupid close, but why'd you be that close to Pluto? Yeah. He's got a meter. Alright. Oh, there we go. That's what we're seeing right there. That's what. Yeah. Oh, boy, boy. That's what <laughs> oh. Just did an SPD for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, wake up. Fireball. Yeah. Risky, but it paid off. Mm -hmm. Keep him at bay. I mean, honestly, I can't give him any advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh... Oh. He's... So far, it's tied pretty much, though. Oh! Oh! oh he messed up. Oh, God. And lost. Oh! Damn, damn. damn. Kalen, like, reeling back in his yeah. chair. I thought he was going to fall over. It's not like I stomped the floor. He, hit the, <laughs> he stomped the floor so hard. Man. He's a skinny dude. Try to escape the throw, but hunted down with the slide. Just fishing with them light kicks. Oh, oh the invincibility on wake up. Yeah. And, and, and here we go. Oh. No, that that should have been an infinite, but and here we go. he does it again. Yeah, it's a bad habit, man. Kalen's going to have to remember he can't do that. Mr. K's going to remind him every, every damn time. Yeah. He's not going to get away with it for free. So, Hey, I don't blame Mr. K. He keep giving me free damage. Yeah. I'm gonna take I it. think he can even punish with an infinite, so. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he did last week. Yeah. It's like you jumped over it the way she dashed mm -hmm. in. It's like, if you, if you done it for That actually could have been an infinite if Mr. K had confirmed. Oh, nice. Yeah. This game is fine. So, uh, if Uranus does the fireball setup. That Back Okay. We we had a weird little audio glitch, but that throw was just so brutal. <laughs> Knocked out the sound for a half second. Yeah. I forgot what I was even saying. He says I'm on the throw, yeah. I think. Oh, so uh that fireball setup, if you try to uh guard cancel backdash after blocking the fireball, she can punish with an infinite. So you have to uh Wow. You have to backdash on wake up, which is what Kalen did earlier. So, 2 0 already. So, let's see if Kalen can make any adjustments. Well, he didn't do any super fireballs that. Yeah. That's an adjustment. Good guard cancel. Yeah, right. Caught the back dash. So, or front dash. It was unsafe. Catching him trying to uh, guard cancel forward dash a lot. <laughs> they say like you're supposed to match the light and throw at the same time, but uh, it never works for me that well. <laughs> uh, Uranus. Oh. Oh. He's actually at a amount of health where if he does super, it'll chip him out before he punishes it anyway. If uh, it hits him, oh, yeah. a regular fireball gun. That slide oh, just keeps progress. catching him. Oh. That slide's so good, it's safe. Yeah. And then it just punch you down. Back dash. That's a, it's that's, a throw. That yeah. throw kills the sound. That, that's weird. something with weird. that throw. It must hit a sound channel. Yeah. In a weird... Oh, I'm not technical. I'm in a weird spot. I know there are... Uh, in some games, there are weird sound glitches. If certain things happen on the same frame, it might be one of those types of things. 
Like in uh, Guilty Gear, if two people land on the same frame, it's just this really loud, obnoxious noise. So, might be something like that. Oh, oh I tried to punish, but... Oh, here we go. Oh, Kaylin might... Might, might win this one. Mm -hmm. Hold your ground. No crash. Follow up. Oh! Meaty, meaty, meaty! Yeah. Oh, Just, I should've did a meaty. There you go. And there we go. Right. Kaylin takes a game. 2-1. Just gonna leave it like that. All right. Where, where are viewers at? Where number at? Uh, there. Okay. Just, just a fireball war in the beginning of this game, but I thought oh. Mr. K got an infinite there. He's fishing for it now. He got it. But yep. now he got it. Yep. That uh. He made one mistake. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he dropped it. Here he comes to come back. Play that gal thing. Oh. oh. Alright, get him. Max against the wall. Oh, nice. Nice. Stopped him from forward dashing after blocking, but... I don't know a reliable answer. That's probably just like a pretty offensive guess. Mm -hmm. It looks like if he knocks him down far enough, he can meet him with the fireball and still stop a forward dash. He should so. be able to uh, light kick into crack shoot. Mm -hmm. That. We have trouble with it. So he can do like big damage every dash. Uh, meaty, 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 meaty. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if Mr. K could have done anything in that situation. The fireball might not have hit meaty, but. I never have a consistent time with these backdashes. Like sometimes I can abuse them and, I, and then nothing will hit me, and then sometimes mm -hmm. I backdash and I get blown up. So yeah. maybe he could have backdash. That was interesting looking. Oh man, he needs, he needs, he needs to practice light kick combos. Mm -hmm. Just, just so he can light. Uh, he ran his up every time he dashes. Right. Maybe we're not hitting deep enough. Like, I don't know how deep that dash lands. Uh, I can't say for sure. Nice air to air. Nice. Yeah, keep, keep laying them out. In this case, I'll probably hold his ground. Yeah. Uh, probably will, too. Go for that super. No. Oh! Oh, it's not. Just, it's just not. do the super. No. Oh! Oh, man! Oh. Mr. K one. takes it 3-1. That was, that was competitive, though. Yeah. That was a damn good match. I, Kalen, I think, at that point should have done the super, because to guard cancel Punisher, you would have had to block it. Over. There was no setup, though. It's hard to jump over, and I think it, he, was, was at a was, he was at a spacing where he couldn't jump over Punish, I don't think. He could have. Uh, I, think, I think he could have jumped from that angle. He might have. I don't know. I would have super. Mr. K won. <laughs> yeah. So now we're gonna uh, have we're gonna have Spoinkman Spoink and Drunk Missile. Drunk. This is gonna go back to two out of three, I believe. Yeah, it's not because I'm still in it. Okay. So. Lights get up. Okay, we're gonna have Spoinkman on player one side. Spoinkman. Prefers the first player side. Yeah. Kind of weird and liking the <laughs> player one side as a Mercury player. That, that's kind of a, well. I saw some videos and like, oh, some people prefer the first player side mm -hmm. if the game doesn't have a whole bunch of glitches. Yeah, because everyone executes or performs training mode on first player side. Well, uh, that's kind of interesting. So I was like, well, I practice on the first player side, but all the broke stuff's on well, supposedly is on <laughs> second player side. So, so like, which one do you want? You want the better execution or the better combos? Yeah. So uh, I don't know. Mercury has a couple things on player two side that make her better. Supposedly everybody's supposed to. Yeah, but. I think Mercury is one of those characters where it's a lot more stuff a than normal. Bit, a little bit extra. Yeah. So, oh, he is pl yes. drunk. Missiles playing Venus. I was talking to him earlier, and he actually said he'd play Pluto, but he told me he was gonna play Pluto the whole rest of the match. I was like, why would you do that? Yeah. I'm glad he didn't. I, I'm kind of glad he didn't too. I mean, <laughs> even play, as a Pluto player, away. I'm glad. I mean, I, hey, if he wants to play Pluto versus me, all right, please do. Even though Mr. K is 
while Pluto was blowing me up last week. <laughs> Come on, oh man. He was talking about he was telling me personally how much he was training with, with Jupiter. I don't know. Unless he yeah. unless he feels his matchup better, I am guessing. He might. Nice tornado. That, that tornado, I mean, every tornado is nice. That, that move is so good, <laughs> man. I hate that move. It is a very good move, yeah. So she don't have good normal, like, well, my hard kick with Neptune. It's like, mm -hmm. my hard normal. It's super slow. This is definitely in Spoink's favor right now, but... Yep. Yep. Uh, if you're in the corner, you got a life deficit against Pluto, uh, Mercury, it's, uh... Oh shit, versus versus. It's about Venus anyone. Two. Oh, he went straight to Pluto. Let's see how that goes. Alright, let's go, Pluto. Just use your stick. <laughs> I'm not particularly fond of this matchup, but let's see if we can do it better. I think they can hold each other off in neutral. Yeah. It's a but it'd be her advantage on the knockdown, though. Pluto doesn't have the best defensive options playing against a character with some of the stronger offense in the game. So the situation Drunk Missile is in right now is why I don't like it. Yeah. Nice throw. That normal, I think, has been like a lot of invincibility on it, too. Which normal? That light, like the hitbox. Oh. I think it's because the cane. It's the yeah, it, it's, 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 it's a very disjointed hitbox. Like, it'll beat my damn DV. I'm like, dude. Spoink insane. almost died because uh, Drunk went for the uh, combo into Super. Oh. Oh. I was saying, like, what are you doing? Is it, you got something? Like, maybe you knew something I didn't know. I was like, nah, it's just, that's your butt. That scissor kick is not good on block. <laughs> no. <laughs> on combo, it's pretty sick. Yeah. Nice caught him jumping. Oh, that was very oh, no. deep. Oh, I thought that was going to be super. I thought it was as well. <laughs> I want to see. Oh, man. Because uh, freaking Splunk Man nailed my ass. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was playing Damon off stream. And uh, oh, that. Oh, my. Oh. I think that's it. Yep. So. Spoinkman takes a 2-0 over Drunk Missile. We completely uh, forgot to update the scores during that. Oh, well. Too late now. Uh, yeah, you guys know what it is. Now yeah. it's going to be me and, uh, I think it's me and, me and Spoink or... I believe so. And then it's going to be whoever and Kaylin. Yep. Okay. I guess it was a Mm-hmm. All right. So... I got it. So yeah, it looks like it's going to be Spoink and Dano. So let me change names real quick. And yep, looks like they're staying the same side. I believe that this is this is loser semis. So it should still be two out of three, I believe. Uh, it looks like I'm alone in the commentary booth. Let's see if I can wave someone over. And it looks like I have Kalen walking up to join me in just a moment. <coughs> but, yep, here he comes. Some nice use of Tornado just to control a little bit of space, not let her get in. All right, so Spoink Man previously nice DP. conquered Drunk Missile. Now, Spoink Man versus Dano, this is a match that happened last week. Uh, and Dano and... Uh, it happened earlier in Bracket 2, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's right. So, so far, Dano uh, has has been winning these matchups. So this is uh, this is almost like a demon yeah. that, that Spoink Man needs to overcome right now. Spoink is in trouble of being double jeopardied right now. Oh, my God. Oh, 
DP didn't connect in the combo. And I was talking with Mr. K earlier. Dano's doing so well right now just because he has a... He just has really great neutral game. Mm -hmm. uh, comes from... Comes from the fact that he's been playing fighting games uh, since they've been around. So... Uh, uh, similar situation with me. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've known Dano for many, many years and we play... We play a whole lot of uh, Kosoji. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, man. Oh. The, uh... Spoink got hit by the fireball because Neptune's is kind of unique in that it, like, starts right in front of her and then goes down to the ground. So... Nice jump in, but He's been getting people with that, with that jump in. Tried to guard cancel into DP, but Spoink blocked it, but... Oh, my God! That overhead in the corner is yeah. so good, but uh, Spoink interrupted it. Oh, oh jumped wow. over the tornado! That was an interesting way to avoid it. Okay. Oh, wow. This is coming down to the wire. We have to have some very good decisions here on either side. This could be anybody's game at this point. Yeah. Really? Oh, oh. great. Woo! Man, you can tell the look on Spunkman's face right now. He is he is relieved, mm -hmm. but it's not over, Spunkman. Still have to win. One more set against Dano. Whoever wins here will face me next in loser's final. I think Spunkman might be adapting here to Dano. Yeah. He, he's doing a lot oh. better than I've seen him do before. Right. He's making some... Playing against Dano is a great experience. Those are very well-spaced tornadoes. Right. He is, the, he is the type of player that will improve your neutral game. Uh, and I'm seeing the results right now with Spunkman. He's making, he's making some good decisions. He's got some good spacing, making good there fireball go. decisions. Yes. And the Spunk special. Uh, Ended up in a falling overhead that hit pretty deep. Mm -hmm. I think he went up for a throw oh, there. Oh, wow. Good, good DP. DP. Oh, wait, here we go. A lot of backdash in there. And that overhead. Yeah. Oh, man, that overhead's so tricky. Good DP. Yeah. Oh, and I think Dano might have this oh. one. Yep. Just go for it. Man. Yeah, no, when you got him that close and you got him that low on health, man, just go DP, chip him out. Mm -hmm. Go on to the next round. So this one is uh, for Dano's life. Dano has to win this one to stay alive. And right away, it looks like it's going to be in Spoink Man's uh, favor. Oh, wow, this might be a perfect yeah. even. Nope. But well, it was close, oh, and wow. Spoink Man takes it. He does. He managed Dano. to conquer his demon. Well done, Spoink Man. Dano... Mistiming those back dashes, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking a little bit while I, he and I were commentating together, and he was saying he has a little trouble doing that really consistently sometimes. Mm -hmm. so it sounds like that was something that he was working on during that match. Remember, each match uh, can be a learning experience. Mm -hmm. And I believe next is going to be you versus Spoink Man. V correct? versus Spoink Man. So. I'll go ahead and head to the stage. Okay. So, <laughs> move that around real quick. And I'm going to just preemptively change the names. Players are currently rock, paper, scissoring over their sides. All right, and it looks like it's gonna be Kalen on the player one side. All right. Having... Oh, it looks like Kalen's cord is tied a little bit, tangled. He is the only person here among us using fully original hardware where he got an SNES stick. So, I believe it is a Hori stick for the brand. I'm not quite sure. But we're getting into it. 
Let's see how they're going to start off. This point man just immediately trying to press an advantage forward. Already has Kalen in the corner, but Kalen's fighting his way out. A triangle jump landed right on the fireball. It was a good idea, but... Those tornadoes make for great anti airs sometimes. Both players, about even. <coughs> Alright. Oh, he hit him out of a guard cancel axe kick. It's one of Kalen's normal guard cancel options, but... Nice bird. And just rising, jumping light kick, I believe? To air to air him. There's a lot of fireballs right now. Both these characters' fireballs completely avoid each other. Unless Mars goes for the uh, bird. Oh, got hit by the tornado. Oh, that crossed up. Wow. Oh, he just opted to block it and guard cancel. It wasn't going to kill, so... There wasn't too much risk in doing so. Both players got hit. Yeah, that uh, rising JK, J or jumping light kick is a very good option for when Spoink tries to move forward during their little fireball wars. Just got hit uh, meaty by the fireball. I don't know what Spoink was trying to do. And there we go. Kalen taking the first game. Uh, I do not know if this is... This is also going to be three out of five, so... <coughs> Kalen has to win two more games, which... I can definitely see that going, especially after the first game. Spoink uh, definitely played very well, but I think Kalen had the advantage in him, so... Let's see if he can make adjustments. Got a very commanding life lead right now. But... His, uh... Light kick whiffed falling, so he just landed and did a throw. Looks like I might have someone joining me. Okay. Yep. Can they see us? Uh, they cannot see us right now. All right, good. Let's keep it that this way. This screen is what they're seeing. All right, we have a very interesting match right here because Mars is putting in some pretty good work. Spoinkman has been having a, a lot of really good matches. Yeah. It made a lot of people very salty around here, but it's probably honestly for the best because people need to learn to be better. <laughs> Myself yeah. included, because I lost pretty terribly. Oh. Uh, Spoinkman's coming back. Open kick. So, last game was a one round apiece as well for both. But Kaylin managed to take the last one. Good anti air fireball, keeping him out of the corner. Could have been dangerous for Kaylin. Oh, you're trying to come back in, but nothing really making out of it. Oh, he almost went underneath the uh, bubble, I feel like. Pretty good neutral game, going back to the corner, but going back out. Yeah. Kalen hasn't spent too much time in the corner. Most of the time he's got to put in, he's managed to fight his way out. Spunkman's jumping a lot of them into those fireballs. He's in danger right now. If he gets hit with another one, he's probably dead. Risky jumping, but it works. Oh, hey. Stuck in the corner. What is he going to do? We have no idea. He is Andy going to lose. lose. All right, 1-1. One, one. Let's see where yeah. we get this. Uh, I'm not quite sure what would have been a good option. I can't hear what you guys are saying. Oh, asking us to oh. figure out if it's 1-1. See, when you get into these matches, you honestly forget how many yeah. games have been played. And Spoinkman did just uh, play a match on stream right before this as well, so... They, they, they might blur together a little yeah. bit. Players, reset the console for some reason. I'm not quite sure. 
It's because they're the the reason that I've heard is because there's a bug with uh, characters that can hold a charge. Yeah. Uh, generally, just pff, just freaking reset it, just because a lot of these games necessarily weren't built super well. Yeah. Or super well, depending on how you want to look at fairness. But the one that I'm thinking about, and this was told to me. Uh, there's a bug where if you held a charge in a certain way, you can actually carry the charge into the next round, and even into different games. Like, okay. if you have a charge, you can actually bring it into the next game. So you can immediately <laughs> start off having a charge. That's interesting. Not game-breaking, per se, but not Not intended. Fair. Not, not, not fair. Oh! Oh, wow, hey. That's what happens whenever we start talking about game bugs. People yeah. get their butts kicked. <laughs> yeah. In a lot yep. of modern games, charge characters can start the round with them, but these games weren't designed with that in mind. 1994, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Uh, Swing went up ar around with a very yeah. surprising uh, super here. Yeah. That super Good. took most of Kalen's health, too, when it hit. Yep. Definitely one thing if you're not very familiar with this game. Things hurt and can hurt. Mm -hmm. Like right now, Mars has a whole lot of life, but Swinkman uh, has the ability to get to the super. Of course, she didn't get a chance to yeah. use it again. I wonder but it if it was there. I wonder if the uh, kick was intentional or if he was trying to go for a super again. It's very possible. I wonder if that would have hit. I'm not. I don't it would not have hit at that. Yeah, that point, range was but. pretty. That range was pretty clear. Yeah. Neutral, jump in. Fireball games into the, close to the corner. Uh, good neutral with the fireballs, both sides. Mars is keeping it out a little bit more. Even nice. it up a little bit, though. We're going back to the last hit right here. Let's see what happens. Jump in, nothing happened. Yeah, he managed to uh, just avoid it. Uh-oh. Mercury is in the corner right now. This could be something big. Oh! Oh, oh wait, we're not done yet. Oh, but we are, though. Yep, so Kalen takes the next game. Putting at two one. Yeah, that's a very, that's a pretty dang big surprise. Pointman ate up a lot of the competition earlier, mm. me included. So yeah. they are definitely look at that. They are laughing about that. that was a really good match. Like you could hardly ever tell like who was going to win that. It was just up to the final yeah. freaking minute there. The uh, the first game, they went okay, but I think Kalen definitely had the advantage there. But it's oh, getting yeah. a lot harder to tell now. It's two. Uh, it's best three out of five, right? Yeah. Okay. So if Kalen wins this game, he advances on the grand finals. Spoink needs to win this and another one. Oh, in the corner, really yeah. hard to deal with. Not a whole lot you can really do, but oh wow, you hit it with that super. But then again, going back to full screen, you can't really do a whole lot with that. Yeah, and Kalen couldn't take a single hit at that yeah. health. With the projectile game that was going on with this, that's something very hard to do. Mm -hmm. Anti-air. Jump in. Nothing going on with that. Yeah, Spoink tried to, I think, air to air him, but got hit. Oh, fireball game. Fireball game in the corner. What's Spoink going to do about it? Oh, he got out. Uh, jumped out. This is not where Kalen wants to be. Nope. Not whatsoever. Oh. Hey, well, we're not out of it yet, yeah. especially with that super. But this is a very difficult thing because Kalen oh. is still in that corner. Fortunately, does not close evens it, back. it up very quickly. All right, this is the match that matters, everyone. Yeah. See who gets to go fight Mr. K and hopefully uh, put more dents in his spotless record. Mm -hmm. All, All right, right, let's see where we're at. Going straight into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last match. Loser's final. Yep. Kalen pretty close to the corner, but fighting his way out right now. Kalen's really good at corner control, mm -hmm. even when it is in the corner. Not necessarily a great fireball. But he didn't lose because of it, so. Just caught him landing. There you go. Doing some good full screen uh, fireball antics over here. Oh, landed on it once again. This fire kick, probably with a fireball or something. Um, back dash oh. into itself. Yeah. All right. That was interesting. Physics. I wonder if uh, Spoink was going for a 
cross up setup and the back dash just oh, made that, it whip. yeah that's definitely what happened it's just the fact that the back dash probably just didn't know where to go it yeah. just kind of still kept him in the thingy yeah um fireball wars mercury gets tagged mercury gets tagged again <laughs> uh full screen fireball wars a favorite of this game mm -hmm. Jump light kick, Fail, uh, cross up, nothing happening. Unfortunately, oh, got hit trying Hillen's to do something. Hillen's in the corner, he got himself back out of the corner. Yeah, he caught Spoink jumping again. He's been very successful with a rising jumping light kick anti airs. Hillen's really good with that. Yeah. Really good with that. Caught my ass so many times. Oh, and failed just throw super. punishes the super. Unfortunately. Didn't but work out this time. Handshake Spoink put and up a very good showing there. Five absolutely excellent matches. Freaking perfect. Charges leads on the tournaments after. Illegal? Nah, they felt like being a gentleman. Uh, big Oof and Gutex face. Yep, th that's it. <laughs> All right, All we right. have Kalen versus Mr. K. Mm -hmm. Definitely someone you could take him down. Uh, if you're not very familiar, Mr. K is a very, very, very good uh, player. Took CEO Taku, Sailor Moon. A lot of the people down there were not expecting that to happen. Yeah, and I I know Mr. K lost some rounds, but yeah. I do not believe he lost a game at CEO Taku. I could be wrong, but I no, do he not didn't. think he Okay. He didn't. Yeah, I know he lost a couple rounds, but. Are. Nope, they're not gonna rock, paper, scissor over the sides. Both see, seem okay with it. I do. It's a bit later in the night. We want to get over with a lot of this. So this is gonna be a very interesting match, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. So let's see where we are going to hit with this. Hill on the left, Mr. K on the right. Let's yep. go into it. Uranus versus Mars. So this was our grand finals last week as well. And... It's kind of funny because some of the the equipment we need to capture the game properly is Kalen's. Yeah. And he is technically supposed to have left for work by now. Yeah, well, the great <laughs> thing about our local small community is a lot of us are very dedicated mm -hmm. and have a lot of stuff that can make this all possible. But there are some times where we got to speed things up just to yeah. make sure people can make it to work on time. So, <laughs> luckily, it kinda, for it, it, it's cool that he's great and in getting into grand finals, but at the same time, you know, it's got to speed this up a little uh, bit so we can get done. The, the good thing for Kalen is he's the boss. Yeah. So he can get away with it. <laughs> All right, back to the uh, match. Unfortunately, a not great time super. Mm -hmm. Uranus is able to jump over it. All right, we are now back to full screen antics with fireballs. Let's see what that can. Let's see what can be done. Keep those on screen so you can make sure that Uranus doesn't dash up screen and uh, SPD you. Yeah. There. That more. Or, why, this is actually a very surprising neutral game. Yeah. Mr. K definitely knows that he can't just go in on Mars yeah. because Kalen has a lot of ways to so, uh, shut that down. The last time they were playing, when Mr. K would try to uh, forward dash cancel oh, after blocking can a fireball, Kalen would just hit a light kick and stop him. Yeah. So. Timing. It's not there very. We go. Yep, that right there. Uh oh. Mr. K is at a life deficit. Never mind. Let's see where we're at. Hey, backdash. Except Mr. K, or yeah, Mr. K is definitely going to lame this one out. Not a lot, yeah. lot you can do. Fireball super was just a bit too far to even chip him, I think. Even with Uranus, is probably a very tall hitbox. If he just stayed yeah. there, wouldn't have hit it full screen. Which I'm actually surprised it doesn't, because there's a lot of jank in this game. Yeah. Good jank, though. It's kind of weird, but... Get that updated, Mr. K. One. Taking the first game. There we go. Oh, he managed to punish the fireball this time. Unfortunately, and that this is, is an infinite. infinite. This another is a variety on the infinite. I see. I don't think I've seen this one before. <laughs> Mr. I... K celebrating. 
Yeah, well, we did not know that infinite was possible. You know that you can low punch into heavy punch into dash into infinite. You can also low kick into heavy punch into infinite. Yeah. We didn't know there was a light kick into... What was that again? Uh, I believe it was light kick, heavy punch, dash. Light kick, heavy punch, dash. Varieties on the infinite. That might be something specific for Mars, because the normal possible. infinite is more difficult on her than normal characters. Is it? Yeah. So it might be something it was playing specifically because of Mars. This seems to be probably something fairly difficult because he's got pretty good consistency with getting the infant out, but at the same time, he was very jovial when it came to uh, landing it in that last match. Yeah. Who knows, he might have done it just because it looked cool. Yeah, well, it freaking looks cool. Yeah. What was that? Oh, is that the super? I'm not sure. I did not see specifically. Oop, can't jump in with that fireball. No, it doesn't do much damage, but it didn't need to there. Backdash and fireball punishes a sweep, but... Just dash through it. Oh, just does throw. Infinite, didn't get it. Make sure you get that spacing just right so Uranus can't do any of her crazy antics. Get in the corner, what you gonna do? Uh oh, Uranus is a bit yeah. of a difficult right now. Well, he's at able to get out of it. quite the life deficit. Oh, you can't jump in. Spacing's are perfect for that light kick. You're gonna have to wait for a possible error from Kalen, but I'm not yeah. sure if that's gonna happen. He has stopped a. Uh, oh! 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 Mr. K oh. reeling back. I believe the uh, recovery of his fireball got hit by the Firebird. And with one, another Or map. never mind, I heard him. He's tried to walk forward and just walked into it. It happens. All right, another game taken off Mr. K. Mm -hmm. Kalen is officially better than all of Florida. <laughs> it is scientifically proven. So, all right, going into game three. See what's going to happen here. Backdash going into the fireball, creating that space. Uranus tries, Uranus tries to dash in to play some more games. Nice. Unfortunately, she's not able to do anything. Yeah. Mars might be in the corner here, but she definitely has a bit more of the control. Yeah, Kalen is not letting him uh, forward dash punish at all. At, yeah, that's, you cannot. You just. It's a. It's not a lame game. It's how you. Do, it's how you win the game. Against someone like Uranus with a forward dash like that. Yeah. Really good back dash there. Oh, still. On there the, we go. I mean, it's very possible. Perfect. Come out here. Never oh, mind. Oh, still. Uh oh, some damage is being taken by Mars. What's what's happening here? Backdash. Oh, what's gonna happen? Oh, can't do that. You gotta. Oh, what's gonna? Oh, Kalen reeling back. I don't know what he was trying to do, but I he's think it was very upset. I think he was trying to do some sort of anti-air fireball, but it didn't come out fast enough. Uh, that. I don't think that would have been a good option. I think he would have lost anyway. Probably. That Seems could like have been an infinite. I, I think that Kalen is definitely in Mr. K's head right now because mm. Mr. K has not been able to try to go for at least... Uh, he's only been able to land one infinite. I know that sounds crazy, but he's fairly consistent at it. So he, he's barely uh, attempted it. That means Garz's spacing uh, is on point. He's got to play a different kind of game yeah. here. Yep. There we go. That that's should kill. You, yeah, that's why you want to keep uh, that's why you keep Uranus out. Because stuff like that could happen. Whoops. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> nope, that 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 didn't happen. This happened though. Okay. Uh, so Mr. K, he just has to win this. He's a tournament play right now. Mm -hmm. But Kalen would have to win this, another one, and the bracket reset. Yep. He'd have to run the complete thing back. Yeah. It's not out of the realm of possibilities, ladies and gentlemen. It'd definitely be a match that would have to be hard fought. Yeah. Back to the corner. I, I, I'm Mars sure Kalen wants to win, but he might be a bit upset about how late he gets to work if that yeah, had to happen. Yeah, that's, that's a thing. Oh, right, well, oh. Hey, super. That is something that... Uh, hey, not even the... What's, what's going to happen here? I'll land it. So, last week, this was our grand finals, and Mr. K was punishing the super. He didn't this time. 
I don't think I'm he was ready for it. I'm telling you. Kalen's in his head. Mm -hmm. He might be scared of the light kicks. They're, they're a very powerful tool. I am surprised that hit. Weird. Maybe not cross up. I don't know. Throw back into the corner. Mars gonna. Whoa! Oh. All right, that use was the, uh, Use Good the back dash. Whoa. Use the invincibility on wake up forward dash to just throw. Yep, that is there the thing. we go. Oh wow! Crazy. Taking At that a, spacing. Taking a super and then still just going in. At that spacing, he was definitely sure he could punish it. To which he definitely did. Rain tries to dash in, unfortunately is kept out by more fireballs. This is the kind of game that Kalen definitely needs to play here. Yeah. Keep that space. Don't don't get hit with those uh, slide kicks. Keep those light kicks out because they're a very powerful tool. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, don't get caught in the corner like this. Yeah. That uh, the slide kick is so active that it caught him after his back dash. Oh, it's it's unusual. You wouldn't think how good it is, but it is good. And that Unfortunately, is... Unfortunately, it's another infinite. That is the tournament. Mr. K taking a 3-1. But... Kalen putting up a very good showing there. Yeah, that, that in itself is... Like, that that is great in itself. Like, it doesn't, like... I don't really know what else to say <laughs> about that. I don't know, just being able to do that well against a person and a player as great as Mr. K is just an accomplishment in itself. Mm -hmm. To be able to keep him out of doing the stuff that he, he tries to go for, just make him play a more respectable game. Yeah. Uh, we were we were seeing a you were seeing a relatively uh, not busted Uranus yeah. there. It was Didn't uh, do anything. He was a lot more reserved in this play. That's a. He he went for. He stopped going for some things that he'd normally go for against just about everyone else. Kalen kept an honest. Mm -hmm. He played an honest and respectable game there. That's nothing to be ashamed of at all. It's a very, very good match on yeah. Kalen's part. And everyone in this tournament today did very well. Every week, it's just amazing to see how well everyone's doing. It's just absolutely fantastic. I think everyone's getting better, and I'm definitely really seeing that with Kalen right now. Oh, yeah. Because... I do believe he took a game off Mr. K last month as well, uh, but he took more, or not last month, last week. He definitely took a lot more rounds today than he did last week, if nothing else. Very, very, very good matches by everyone. Mm -hmm. Absolutely fantastic play. Unfortunately, I need to get out of here, so I am going to take put this down, but thank you guys for letting me uh, talk about this game with you for a little bit more. Yep. So. Yep. All right. So... We are just about to end the stream. That was <coughs> quite the great showing from everyone. Thanks, everyone who came by, stopped to watch. Okay. Uh, so I'm get, seeing what people are doing for a second. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for everyone who came by. Going to show for just a second. We host this every Thursday starting at about 7 p.m. Central Time at Moonbase Market in Soulard in St. Louis, Missouri. You can find us at... Yep, I have someone walking over. You can find us at discord.stlfgc.com, at stlfgc on Twitter, and at bit.ly slash stlfgc Facebook for our Facebook group. We'll be here next week on the 18th, and <clears throat> on the 20th is our monthly Apollo. I believe Sailor Moon will be taking place at about 5 p.m. on that day. I could be wrong. We will have a schedule for that, and I'll be able to tell you for sure next week. But, again, thanks anyone who stopped by. We really appreciate it. Have a good night.